Hi everyone, and welcome back to the SIBO's video cast. Hello again, Liran. Hello, Noah. Hi. So we've spoken a lot about the benefits of industrial artificial intelligence, especially in reducing production losses. But one question we keep on getting is how. How can manufacturers, particularly larger organizations, implement these new technologies to reduce production losses without causing major disruptions to their existing infrastructure? Liran, you've helped so many major manufacturers implement industrial AI solutions. In your experience, what is the most successful way to adopt and deploy industrial AI to reduce manufacturing losses? So, um, Noah, you are right. This is uh, indeed a question that um, many executives around the manufacturing world are asking themselves. So there is the obvious potential of uh, reducing different process losses and production losses, but there is also a risk. The risk is um, not to do it right or to fail and then it will be difficult for the organization to do it again and even um, lose the uh, investment or lose the potential of savings. And what we commonly see in the market are two strategies. One strategy would be the horizontal strategy where a manufacturer will deploy different layers across the entire organization layer by layer. So the first we do the first layer and then we do the second one across the organization and only then the third one across the organization. While in the other hand, we see the lighthouse strategy. This is a more of a lean and agile strategy where you are going to choose a specific production line and take it from zero to 100. In order to better uh, differentiate between the strategies and be able to compare between them, we need to understand what is the journey that the manufacturer is about, about to go through. The first layer would be data extraction. This is where we are going to collect the data into different isolated islands from the production floor, from quality, from process, from raw material. And then we need to organize it in a way that it's easy to analyze and read and visualize it to the different teams. And only then you deploy advanced analytics and industrial artificial intelligence. So the data extraction has no savings. This is a technical act of extracting data from the different production processes, quality, raw materials. And it usually simply doesn't generate any benefit. When you visualize the data, you might see some benefits. But the holy grail and the major savings are coming from the advanced analytics. It's interesting to see what Forbes are saying about that. 80% of the time invested in this kind of project is on the data preparation and the data aggregation. So actually most of the investment is on the bottom two layers while the financial benefit is not exactly there. Okay, so that's really interesting, but how does this answer the question regarding which approach should a manufacturer choose? So now when we know what is the journey, let's compare between the two strategies. Here we have the horizontal strategy and here we have the lighter strategy. So with the horizontal strategy, when we look at time and effort, that would be slow and resource heavy. We need to deploy layer by layer across all the organizations. While the lighter strategy, it's simply taking one production line and in a agile way, deploy it and take it from zero to 100. Time to win? It will take years with the horizontal strategy. While with the lighter strategy, since you are focused, it can take less than six months. And you can already see justification for your investment. That would motivate later many people in the organization. The price of mistake in the horizontal strategy is huge. We, if we do mistake on the first layer, we are going to duplicate it around all the organization. With the lighter strategy, it's pretty simple. We do a mistake, we fix it, and then we build the right model that we are going to duplicate later. Am I collecting the right data? This is always a question. You will probably won't know if you look at the horizontal strategy. You would do the same data collection everywhere, and only later, when you go to the analysis, you will discover what you're doing right or wrong. But with the lighter strategy, since you 
analyze the data quickly, you know if you collected the right data, yes or not. Budget justification, as I mentioned earlier, it will be difficult to see in the early stages. With the lighter strategy, you're going to bring back home a quick win that would later justify other budget investments in the rest of the organization. And eventually, the level of fit. With the horizontal strategy, you, do, you try to do one thing, feed them all. And usually it's not the case. Your production lines are, are different. And because of that, the lighter strategy would be efficient and you will be able to customize the analysis and the data collection per the production line. So if I sum it up, and I think it was pretty um, clear from, from what you've heard, we definitely recommend manufacturers to go for the lighter strategy. So thank you very much for those very important insights, Liran. And in our next video cast, we'll address the question of how to choose which production line should adopt industrial AI first. Thanks for watching and see you next time.